Shannon was brazen enough to use the car's cellular phone. The police intercepted two calls made just outside Philadelphia. That next morning, the Philadelphia police held a news conference at about 11 o'clock, announcing that Andrew Cunanan had used Lee Miglin's cell phone in the Lexus in the Philadelphia area. Obviously, Cunanan was listening to his radio, heard it, and said, I've got to get rid of this car. Not long after, Cunanan abandoned the Lexus at a cemetery in southern New Jersey. According to authorities, Cunanan shot and killed William Reese, the caretaker of the cemetery, then drove off in Reese's pickup truck. The death toll had now grown to four victims, and with the body count mounting, Andrew Cunanan's infamy reached a new level. The FBI placed him on its 10 most wanted list. And the television program America's Most Wanted spread the word. Look carefully at this picture. It's the most recent photograph of Andrew Cunanan, who police believe is responsible for a two-week killing spree that's claimed four innocent lives. Experts don't believe the killing is over. South Beach, Miami, Florida. It's believed Andrew Cunanan arrived there on May 12th, and to him, it could be the perfect place to hide out. It's one of the hottest sort of strips in America, models, movie stars, uh, uh, a lot of media. And so it, it's some place where it's a place where he would have felt comfortable um, and uh, where he could have easily uh, mingled with people in bars and, uh, and felt at home. Cunanan checked into the Normandy Plaza Hotel and was, according to the hotel's employees, a quiet, unassuming guest. Even though there was a manhunt on for him, Cunanan lived at the hotel day after day, week after week, as spring turned into summer. But by July 7th, it appears Cunanan was running out of money. He went to this pawn shop and sold a gold coin belonging to Chicago murder victim Lee Miglin. Surprisingly, Cunanan filled out a form, signing his real name and giving a thumbprint. And I said, sign here, put your fingerprint, I give you his copy, I give you the money, and he left. That's it. It yeah. took like a five, six minutes. The shop's manager, by law, sent a copy of the form to the police who were required to review it. But due to a backlog of paperwork, it went unnoticed. Cunanan was spotted again on July 11th in this sandwich shop when one of the cashiers recognized him from watching America's Most Wanted and called 911. When he came in front of me and when I was watching the show, you know, I pay attention and it's just boom, right then and there, it just clicked. But Cunanan left before the police showed up and despite as many as 10 reported sightings in the area, he continued roaming through Florida. And it's believed he spent time monitoring one of Miami's most prominent residents, a man considered responsible for the funky world of South Beach and the trendy, sophisticated lifestyle Andrew Cunanan aspired to. Fashion designer Johnny Versace. I think the, the investigation will show out that he had reasons to contact Versace, possibly for money, possibly for shelter, uh, possibly to, uh, to be aided in getting out of the country. On the morning of July 15th, Versace took his usual morning stroll to the news cafe and bought magazines and coffee. On his return to his villa, just as he put his keys into the front gate, someone walked up from behind and shot him twice in the head. Yes, the man's been shot. Please, immediately, please. Okay, hold on. How did he get shot, sir? I don't know. He's walking in front of his home. It's Johnny Versace. I saw Gianni Versace laying face down on his steps with his head blown off, with his face shot off. Looked like execution style, shot in the head right on his steps where that blood is. As the gunman fled, several people, including Versace's longtime companion, Antonio D'Amico, chased after him, but they were frightened away when he waved a gun at them. At Miami's Jackson Memorial Hospital, Johnny Versace was pronounced dead. And with the news, there was an outpouring of grief.
Not long after, authorities found the pickup truck, which was then identified as belonging to William Reese, the murdered New Jersey cemetery caretaker. Inside the truck was a wealth of evidence linking Cunanan to the murders. They found uh, clothing, uh, blood-soaked clothing. He also left identification. He left uh, a passport. He left uh, receipts from uh, visits to, uh, uh, to, to, to a movie theater, uh, I believe, in New York. Uh, he left a trove of evidence. With this evidence in hand, the FBI and the Miami Beach police believed they had their prime suspect in the murder of Johnny Versace. Miami Beach police investigators, in cooperation with agents of the Federal Bureau of Investigation and the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, are currently looking for Andrew Philip Cunanan as a suspect in the murder of Gianni Versace. Cunanan should be considered extremely dangerous and armed at this time. Andrew Cunanan was about to become the most hunted man in America man suspected of brutal exploits that would put him in the deranged company of Charles Manson, Jeffrey Dahmer, and Ted Bundy. And when he joined that select group, Andrew Cunanan finally achieved the level of notoriety for which he had been striving his entire life. Andrew Cunanan brash kid who craved the spotlight, the one whom classmates had labeled most likely to be remembered, was suddenly not just famous, but infamous. His name and face were plastered on storefronts, on the front pages of newspapers, and on television newscasts around the world. Continua la masiva búsqueda de Andrew Cunanan. Hundreds of agents in southern Florida searching for the killer of designer Johnny Versace. Hundreds of tips are coming into the FBI. The FBI is reaching out to anyone. Police say Cunanan, who is wanted for a total of five murders, could be anywhere. Nobody's safe in this, and that's the point we have to, we have to get across. Everybody's at risk. Everybody's got to help us put this guy in jail. You said he got on at the Logan Airport uh, stop? Okay. Soon there were sightings, tips from around Florida and from places as varied as Michigan and New Hampshire and Wisconsin. Hundreds of calls from people saying they had seen someone who looked like Andrew Cunanan. But authorities conceded that could mean anything. For a while, they even speculated he was dressing as a woman. But the truth is, no one could be certain. A few days after the Versace killing, vital clues began to turn up. Investigators searched the Normandy Plaza Hotel where a worker believed Andrew had been staying under a name similar to one of his aliases. I get the creep, you know, because the guy was very nice. You cannot think nothing wrong about that guy, believe me. When police searched his room, they found fashion magazines and a set of hair clippers. Police seemed to be on Andrew's trail, but no one could predict where that trail would lead. With the Versace killing on everyone's mind, authorities tightened security at fashion shows in New York. Nobody knew where Andrew Cunanan might strike next. Time stoppers. At one point, more than a thousand tips a day were pouring in from around the country, 400 a day in South Florida alone. Many came from the area off Collins Avenue in Miami Beach, where yachts and houseboats are docked. Investigators began to step up surveillance in the area. They became more convinced that Andrew Cunanan had not fled Florida. On Wednesday, July 23rd, Fernando Carrera stopped by to check on a large blue houseboat where he worked as a caretaker. The owner was away on business, and Carrera routinely looked in on the houseboat every couple of days. But this day, the caretaker noticed a lock missing from the front door. Before he could investigate further, he heard a gunshot. Carrera ran outside and called 911. Within the hour, streets were sealed off, heavily armed police moved into the area, and a tense standoff began. We don't know exactly what we have on our hands here, but I will tell you for sure this is something big. Local television programs follow the unfolding drama. And